Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 10. Hashtag Little Bits of Lace 2024 and Roxy's Weekly Challenge Week 9 today. So let's say hi and hugs and get started. Hi and hugs to Corey, Sharon, Cindy, and Marlo. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so today we need furniture, we need an advertisement, we need a scrap of sheet music, fire or smoke, and something that hangs on a string or cord, and typewriter text. I don't know why that feels like a lot of stuff to me today. <laughs> I don't know. So here's some uh, music. I thought I'd scatter it around. I grabbed some typing. Um, these, these stockings are hanging on a cord. Here is an old ad. And then I've got this, um, di dining room set and with, and then this is a little fire. So let's get stuff cut out first. First things first. And I'll set these aside just to see if there's anything I think I might need in a, in a future Marguerite Miller challenge. Yeah, so jumping right in. How are, how are you guys doing? I am, I am good. I am perky. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't sleep very well last night. It's so, I'm so silly. I was fretting about having to take a form into the hospital um, and the reason I was fretting is I'm filming this on Monday Mondays are kind of my busy video days I try and get a lot done on Monday so that the rest of the week isn't quite so hectic you know and of course so I didn't sleep so I got up and Mike said how'd you sleep and I said, well, not good, because I was worrying about taking this stuff to the hospital, which the hospital literally is about a mile from our house. It's not far. That window might come in handy. Um, so anyway, he said, well, I can run it down there for you. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Great. So, so yeah, so now I'm perky. Yeah, I wasn't so perky first thing this morning because I, but gosh, the silly things that get stuck in my brain and then I, I just obsess over them. I don't know what to do with me. I'm just getting rid of a little of this so that something can shine through like music maybe or typewritten page or something. Okay. Well, that's going to take up a good bit, isn't it? Okay. And then we have our advertisement. I'm going to cut it down just to... just to this. Hey, there's more more ads on the back here. Ooh, I really like the slip covers one. I like that better. Let's do use it. Glad I turned it over. Okay. I don't know. I'm just I'm just sticking it in there to get it out of the way more than more than anything. Okay, and then we have got our stockings here on the mantle. I don't know if I'm going to want this little tree at the end, but we'll see. Hmm. Okay. 
okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to cut out that tree. That's all right. Do that. put that kind of in between now yeah, that's I like that this might have to go over a little bit and then I still have this one with the fire I can just put it under the table okay I think I'm gonna only be able to use little strips of typing I might put one here. Maybe I'll turn it around so the typing shows more. One there. Um, and then, then a bit of music here and there. Uh, This has kind of a cool thing because it's copyright is 1895. Well, I guess that's typewriter writing ish. Oof, that's cluttered. It, it is a lot. I, I said it felt like a lot. It is a lot. Okay, we got to put these down, guys. And I do not know how it's all going to work. But let's just, let's go for it, huh? So, had a nice weekend. I, um... I was kind of a slug, to be honest. That's what I kind of was. I, um, let's see, right about there. I did all the weekend things I had to do, you know, laundry and whatnot, but we watched a lot of basketball. That was fun. That's going to be our thing here for for a while because it's March Madness. Woohoo! And so, yeah, it's. There'll be a little bit of basketball watching on our agenda. Okay, I think this should go next. So I have a fun project for the little bits of lace that I hinted about on Monday. And so I hope you guys will hope you guys will like it. Okay. There's that. Don't need that. Okay, so then this is going right about there. Okay, so right over to that S and right under that H. Okay, set that aside because it's getting goopy. Been enjoying my little gardening <laughs> gardening book because um, it's really it's really pretty good for gluing on. Now I have to carefully put that back together. Okay. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. Be a little more gentle, Gail. It's the, it's the moral of that story. I'm at the end of my glue stick, and sometimes it's a little, a little harder to manage when the 
glue part wants to fall out really is what's happening here. This is a big old piece of collage here. I mean, there probably was other things of furniture that I could have went with, but I don't know. This one just sort of spoke to me. Okay, there's that. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this, this down here, I think. Okay, there's that. Okay. I was going to put that there. I think I still will. I feel like I need something over to the side there. Heaven forbid we have an empty spot. Okay, there's that. a smidge of this. Right here. And then I'm going to put this down here. A story of free energy. I want it. I think I might want it down in the corner. Nope, right about there. Alrighty then. Get that down. And we will have Marguerite done, except for I have no place to put this. I always forget about it. What am I going to do with you? I might just clip it again. I think so. Find a clip. Here's one with an arrow. That's kind of fun. How does that go on? <laughs> you got to be smarter than the paper clip. Ah, there we go. Okay. We have piece of furniture, the dining room set, an advertisement, scrap of sheet music, fire, something that hangs on a string or cord, and text. Alrighty then. That is done. And I am going to switch out glue sticks for this next project because... Don't, I don't need the frustration. I don't need it today. I didn't sleep well last night because I was fretting about something stupid. <laughs> there we go. There it is. Oh, it's a little shiny, isn't it? But, but that's done. Okay. So now we are, I'm going to pick these up and we're on to, um, we're on to this other project. Let me show you what we're going to do. So we're going to do these. They're little clusters with a little lace on them. Lovely, right? And I've done some, done some pre-work here so that we can move right along. So you need lace. You need stamped images, you need some book page, you need a doily. That was my one leftover doily. And you need some piano paper if you have it. If you don't, no big deal. But, so we're going to layer these. We're going to go book page, doily, 
stamped image. And then um, I'm just going to tear some of this piano music or whatever you call it, uh, player piano stuff. And I'm going to stick a little of that here and there. It's, it doesn't show a whole lot, so I don't know that this is really necessary. I, I kind of like it without. Yeah, I'm not going to use it. There you go. Uh, I should acknowledge this, this cluster idea was from Gina. I don't think she has a YouTube channel anymore, but... Um, I always get her mixed up with 49 dragonflies and that's not it. It's she had another another station. But anyway, Gina. Um thank you for this idea. <laughs> so, scraps of lace and we're just going to, you know, pop them in here wherever you think they look good. And that one I might even put on top like that. Okay? So I'll set that aside as ready. Um, I have all my little scraps in here and we'll just see. Here's a, here's a good one. Um, I think I'll put that just right on the edge there. Okay. And then this one. So these are all the stamped images we did the other day on um, Mixed Media Monday. So there, I'm just gonna have a little bit of that peeking out. And then we have a little a little one here, just a tiny, just a teeny tiny little one. Let's see, this has some nice that's just a good little scrap. I'm gonna put that there and maybe this one will be kind of a Christmas one. Haven't been haven't been thinking about doing Christmas for this for the little bits of lace project, but one certainly could. Okay, this just gonna have that kind of hanging out the bottom side. And I did, other than the stamping, I did all the prep in front of the TV this weekend. So, you know, getting the book page and getting the doily and all of that. Um, and of course, you can use some um, colors too. You don't have to just keep them neutral, although it is kind of nice neutral wise to just be able to... Um, I don't like the size of that with that. Ooh, that's that's a big one, but could be kind of cool. Let's see. Do I want it hanging out the side? Do I want it on the bottom? I like that the best so far. Do I want to balance it? I think I'll, I'll go with that. The other thing, if you don't have like piano paper and you want one more element here, um, you could use like a scrap of a digital or something like that if you wanted. I'm just going to put that all the way down this side right here. Just across that. So you get the idea. Book page, doily, lace, stamped image. I wonder if the blue will work on this one. Do I like it on the top? Kind of like it there. Put that kind of over there. Okay, I'm just lining them up and then we're going to put them together. Now, um, oh, I should probably be tacking these down. 
It might be easier. It might be unnecessary. I'm not for sure. So I think I might try and sew a few and we'll decide. If you're worried about your pieces moving, then you probably better, um, better tack them down. Okay. We have a whole bunch more here to do, which maybe we'll see if we have time after Rock Roxy's weekly challenge. So I have my um, sewing machine all ready to go and we're gonna use black ink. So that's one thing. I'm gonna use the black ink and then um, I also lengthen the stitch just a little bit. Let's see how we do without taking time to glue them. Let's just see. Okay, shoes off. All right, so straight stitch, little longer stitch than I'd use on fabric. And we're just gonna go, yeah, I don't, I don't think I need to, that's an, that's just an extra step to glue it, really. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother, I don't think. Okay, so this, this little cluster is what you end up with. Isn't that cute? And let me grab, well, Let's sew these and then we'll and then we'll finish off a little bit of the ephemera with them if we have time. That'll be good. Cuz I don't have any room in my in my cluster storage <laughs> for more. If you want to sew around twice and do the messy stitching, you could do that too. I am just going around once. And the reason I'm using black thread is I feel like it makes the stamp pop more. It just, it just is more, kind of more obvious, I guess. Let's see, let's do this one up here. And we just go around, oopsie so full of electricity everything oops i got got a little too confident there i will re Recheck to make sure Gina doesn't have a YouTube anymore. She used to live in Europe and then they moved back here to the US. And then because they were moving and all of that, she stopped her YouTube. She stopped her Patreon. I was a member of her Patreon. And, um, but I loved her style and this was, as I said, one of her ideas. And I just think it's really cute and you can kind of, whoop, come on, get under there. Well, that's gonna be down here now because it didn't, there we go. Um, yeah, you can adapt it to different, different things like putting that one on the top. Okay. And it, it's pretty quick. I mean, I put all this together watching TV and then, you know, you just kind of have to sit down and sew it. And just be sure you're... 
your lace and your doily are underneath the edge enough to sew down, right? Okay, this one we wanted kind of on top too, didn't we? Let's see how that works. Yeah, and if, if you're nervous that things are going to move around on you, go ahead and um, glue them down. Just let your glue dry before you run them through your sewing machine. That's the only thing. And as you can see, like that one is totally not straight. And because of that, I think I'll go around it one more time and just do the messy stitching and show you what that looks like. Just gonna wiggle my wiggle myself around a little bit. Oop. Let me clear off the page there. I put the messy in stitching. Okay, but it's kind of cool, a cool effect too, right? Okay. <laughs> strings, strings everywhere. Okay, we just have a couple more and then we're just gonna grab some, grab some tags and see what they look like on the tags real quick here. Or journal cards. Or pockets, or a bit in the middle of a belly band. That one was pretty straight. I just had a moment of straightness there. This one's torn, so I'm going to follow the tear because. I feel like it gives it a little personality. Okay. And it's kind of nice if you've got wimpy book page and wimpy strips, it strengthens them quite a bit. Okay, then we have this one with the real thick lace. That's what ought to be interesting. Let's see. In just that little bit, we made a big old pile of them. Have another pile to go, but that's okay. We'll do, I'll probably do those off camera just because it's repetition, really. I'm going to leave this on just in case. But move it aside. Let's grab our famous to do box as box is because I'm thinking these would look kind of cool on the whack and stack tags. Got some of those right here. So like this one, I mean the the map on the middle is not neither here nor there. But look how that dresses that up. Isn't that cute? Oops. Another string. Um yeah, so let's just go ahead and put that on there. And just kind of see if we can use a few of these and just see how they work. 
I am going to go ahead and glue under my doily just so it doesn't rip off. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I think with this, I would probably give it one of these punches. Excuse my reach. Right here. Like so, give that a little ink. And this tag is done. Woohoo! So let's real quick like try a journal card. Just gonna set this one aside. I've got journal cards in the big box here. Let's see, what do we have? Mm, this one could be nice. It's got kind of a lot of blank space there. So let's see. Um, I don't know what, I'm, what am I feeling for this one? Not the Christmas for sure. Yes. Yes, that's the one. Doesn't that just add so much? I love it. And I don't, um, I don't distress the edges of the book and all of that, of this first layer of book page, but you could, of course. You do you, I'll do me, and we'll be a family. Okay, I like my song. <laughs> okay, so isn't that cute? So those are finished just with that. What fun. Okay, and then, um, let, do I have any? Yeah, I do. I was going to say, um, maybe, I was thinking of making this into a, belly band. So eight and a half. Let's just mark it. And this is nice and neutral. So I think, see if I can do this straight ish. I think I did. I think I did. Okay. Um, then we'll just put that in the middle there. Yeah, I think so. Just wanna give that a little something. And then we better jump on over to Roxy's Weekly Challenger. We're not gonna get that done today. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is from. It feels, it's, cardstock it feels like it might have been a digital an edge of a digital or something but do I like it do I like it that way or do I like it yep I like it this way because this white and this kind of balance out I get so many questions on how do you know where to put stuff and how do you decide on a collage where to put stuff? So I'm going to try and verbalize my thinking a little bit more than I have. Okay, I'm just going to put that in the middle. And we've got ourselves a little neutral belly band. So that's the idea. These lovely little clusters. Um, again, Gina... You guys, if you remember her, the name of her, her YouTube station, please, or her channel, I'll, um, I'll look, I bet her old videos are on there. So um, I'll look and I'll link it if I find it, okay? Okay, so I guess we're gonna need that. Let's get rid of the to-do box. Okay, Roxy. I have all over here. Got to remember, I did this watching TV too. 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. These little pockets with something sticking up over. Okay. I am remembering. So I left one so we can make one together. Um, just, okay, I really like, I really like this writing. So I think I'll do that and we'll do something else back there. So that's basically it. And what you're going to do, where's my glue page, is we're going to glue down this edge on the book page and just ugh, glue. It's like it's frozen. <laughs> no surprise to me. So you just glue down the edge like that. Let's do that on all of them. Why are you so sticky? I mean, I want it to be sticky, but not, not like that. Oh my gosh. I must have been talking about my coordination in, to, in Monday's video because a lot of you were saying, yeah, I have the same problem. I think it's an age thing. I'll tell you what, I am just sick and tired of the age things. <laughs> I told Mike today, you know, after not sleeping because I was worried about taking that form to the hospital. Why? I, why? I don't know. <laughs> I said, I am going to be so glad when all these medical tests are done because, you know, I had my physical and then my doctor, you know, time for a mammogram, time for a colonoscopy, time for a sleep test. I said, I'm going to be so glad when they're over. And my husband said, I hate to tell you this, but I don't think they're going to be over anytime soon. I think... We're just of the age. And I'm like, ugh. I don't like fitting them into my day. I'm, I'm a little stingy with my time. Okay, so we got them all pasted now. Um, and so I'm not gluing them yet. I'm going to wait until I decorate because it'll be easier if I put something on there to get it down in the pocket, right? So I have three that I kind of have a start on. Let's see, let's push this over here. So the first one is this, and it's going to go into my um, groovy, my groovy book. And this is a playing piece that my friend Betsy gave me. Thank you, Betsy. And of course, I ink. You don't have to. You you do whatever. Whatever turns your crank, you just do it. Okay. So, there is that. Now, I think I want some of the fun Joey papers here. What's this? Ooh, there's a good one. I think I'll put that up there because I'm not covering up a whole lot of the text. I do want to see the text. So... Yeah, so we'll just decorate these for the rest of the time, okay? Super, super easy little pocket, but um, so what's fun about that is you could just make a whole bunch and, and then have fun decorating. Okay, I'm going to put that along the top. And the writing is upside down on this part anyway. So there's that. Okay. And this is really thick. I, I think I might see if I can pull a little bit of that off, this playing piece. I want to leave some of it because um, you want this to be strong because it's going to be, oh yeah, that worked great. 
it's going to be up over the edge of the page there. So this is going in into the cardboard recycle. I think it's cardboard. Okay. And so I'm going to put her there. And then I'm wondering if I want some sort of, uh, some sort of label or something in Joey's ephemera here. I've got these numbers, but what else do I have? Stamps. I could put another little pocket on there. That'd be fun. Let's do that. Oh, I'm covering up all the writing though. Maybe not once I fold this. Let's see. Because, you know, part of the thing is the, the cool writing on the page. Let's just see. Yeah, there's still some writing there. Okay. Joey's kind of in his design already inked them, but you know. Okay, so I think I want this over as far as it will go. And so we'll get that on there and then we'll put our little lady on there. And then a tag or something can go in this little pocket too. Okay. I think I'll go just kind of right over to the edge with that. And then our little lady can be over here, kind of on the margin. And so I want to only go up about this high with the glue because you don't want to glue your pocket shut. Okay. I'm just going to put her so she barely gets over that spot. Now I can glue this shut. And we've got one done. Yay. Yay. Okay, isn't that so sweet? I love that. Okay, so that's going to go in my Joey journal. All right, and then I also grabbed a couple bugs. Um, these are going to need to be backed. I'm just going to, excuse my reach, use a glue page here to... Get them thickened up a bit. No idea what paper to use behind them or whatever, but what am I doing? I'm putting them on here to thicken them. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, well, that one's grungy because my glue page was yucky. Let that dry over there a little bit. Okay. I'm going to do another one because I have several bug journals that I'm going to be doing. So we'll just get those thickened up a little bit. I probably better do this. Okay, do, um, that's a good size. Do I have another one that's sim similar? That'll be good. Okay. So while that's drying a little bit, I'll just ink. I'm using the wonderful book pages that I get from Rachel at Roxy Creations. Got to use her stuff when I'm doing her, her sort of thing, huh? And... Not quite sure 
I'll have digitals that will go with the bug journal, but I don't have them out at the moment in order to use them in the back. So we'll just wing it. Okay, first thing we need to do is cut these out. And while I'm at it, um, a good rule of thumb when you're cutting out a circle is to move the paper, not the scissors. And it does work for me, I will say. Probably on camera I'll mess it up, but in, in normal life, when I'm fussy cutting in my living room, it works great just to turn that, just turn that paper. Okay, there's one. So yeah, this this is a fun one. And um, Rachel, I think she did this last year, and I do remember it, but it's a good one to revisit because like I say, they're just easy to put together and then you can decorate them to go with whatever journals you're you're using at the time. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Okie dokie. So let's give these little circles a bit of an edge. Like so. Yeah, I think these are super fun. Ooh, I just had an idea. I just had an idea. Okay, we're going to do that next. Okay, how much time do I have? Oh, I have a little bit of time. Good. Okay, so those are going to go kind of like that. Um, let me just grab, I don't know what, over here. Um, What do I have in here? Anything? What if I put that kind of right there? Could do that. And I'm looking at this one for this. This is from 450 pay uh pa 450 Paper Street Market. Um I don't need to use that whole thing though. If there's anything worth saving, not really. Well, let's just put them down. Um, I think I will give it a little edge though. Well, a chore. You guys helped me find diversifying Claire so I have it ordered so hopefully will come soon um, for for the stamping because man oh man struggle with the other verse fine which I can see it'll be great for um, it'll be great for embossing but it's just not great for general stamping use let's just say that one it's gonna be cute and do this one okay just like that now this is upside down but I'm gonna put the bug so that it kind of doesn't, you know, it won't show that much. Okay, I'm going to grab a label. This is the Junk Journal Studio book and I've got some gardening stuff, but I think, I think I don't want that. I think I want these vintage ones. And I want something that's just going to go like right about there. Perfect. There's one. And we'll find.
find one for the other side. Look at this one. Nope. Um. Too big. Haven't found the just right yet. We will, we will. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There it is. Okay, cool. Set that over on the table. Alrighty then, let's put these all this down. And the bug ones will be done. You right about there. And this one. Sorry, my chair squeaks so much. I hope that's not too annoying on the on the video. It just it annoys me. <laughs> but you know, we're not we're not very good at fixing stuff like that around here. Okay, so I want the glue under here. I'm just going to go right about here. Kind of a fun way to use a circle. I'm not always super good about using circles in, in my stuff. Okay, so there's that. And that's nice because you can see some of the, some of the text from the book page. So that was a good one. Okay. And there is that pocket. Okay, this one. We want you to be right about there. So we'll go right under here. About like that, I could use Another little dot there and there. Okay. And there's that one. Great. Okay. How are we doing time wise? Yeah, we're getting there. Let's do one more quick one if we can, because this. This was a Christmas one. I just grabbed this little, um, it's on cardstock. It's from Tsunami Rose. And I did grab a piece of my paper. I think this is from, I think this is from my friend Jesse at, uh, Vintage Vintage Studio 717, is that right? I'm blanking. Oh, you know what I think I want to do with this is I think I want to give it an edge. So, I'll just grab the one that's close here. Oh, now one more. One. Ah, I missed. I'm so bad at this. Let's see if I can line it up. I did. Oh, you. Okay. But yeah, I just thought for fun we'd give it a little, a little, a little kind of fun edge there let's let's dirty up the snow a little bit okay so i'm just going to put that right there just 
that there and then this is going to go there do i want a little label of some sort well i don't know what it's going to say probably not oh i do have some christmas ones but they're they're all vertical are you all vertical yes you are Ooh, no i've got some stuff here let's see there's these little little people that's cute let's do that i forgot i had christmas in my the junk journal studio book too good well we'll get this done and then we'll just kind of revisit what we got done today how's that and i i have many more to do of both <laughs> I might sew the rest of those clusters and just put them with my clusters. Like that. And then you are gonna go there. And we don't want glue any higher than that bump right there. Maybe these little owls are in this house making stuff the elf house in the in the North Pole that. oh I didn't do this did I okay and then we can do this well we got four of them done that's not bad. Oops. Might have to have a a day of cleaning them up. Oh, but I have to show you my idea. Okay. What I was thinking is could we do we have one of these? don't think I'd use one with the doily at the top. Oh, those are those. Let's do the, those are the ones that I saw. Did I use them all? Maybe I used them all. Okay, but I'll just, I'll just show you for, uh, for instance. For instance, this one. What if we use that there to stick up? Actually, this one's a better height. Like that. Now, we'd have to back it with, but once it's once it's all sewn and everything, it might be okay. Okay, I'll do one of those and show you in a future video. I have a lot of videos filmed ahead, but um, for the next one, I maybe. <laughs> I'll try and remember to pull one aside and, and show you guys, but I think that would be, that would be cute. I think up here anyway, I would want to reinforce it a little bit. So the part that's hanging over the pocket would have some heft to it. Yeah, I think I might go on that side with it, but wouldn't that be cute? Okay, so that's an idea, another idea, combining the two. Okay. So this is the unfinished pile. These are finished. And I'm just going to show you what we got done today. Just got to move a couple things out. Out my road. Get out my road stuff. Okay. So we got four pockets done for the Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And I'm super happy with all of them. Yay. So those. And then we put our little bits. Oh, there they are. There they are. Our little bits of lace on. Okay, let's do this one. Sorry, I just got stew. I got stew. So belly band. Journal card. Tag. And, and I won't have to remember to show you. And then I think I would put that right there. Yeah. Okay. That's, 
that's kind of ready to go. And then I have a whole, a whole nother stack to sew and I have a whole nother stack that is, is finished. So those are really fun, aren't they? So anyway, those then are collage page, which I don't know if it's one of my favorites, but it's okay. So there you have it. That's it for this, this week's challenges. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Have a grateful day. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.